Hey YouTube, Carl here. The last time we were in the shop, I built a working prototype for the landing gear for the big, big B-17. It's sitting right here. Um, now, it's time to start building the airplane. And so we're going to start with the horizontal stabilizer and elevators. The full-scale B-17 had fabric-covered elevators and rudder. So for those, I'm going to do a traditional balsa construction, and I'm going to cover them with solar techs. But the horizontal stabilizer and uh, vertical stabilizers, they were all metal stressed skin construction, and I want to try to recreate them with a different method. Um, for the horizontal stabilizers, I'm eager to try a new technique that's been gaining popularity with some really talented builders I follow. Uh, I think I first saw a, a Russian gentleman named Elise use this, then John Morgan, and recently John Pruitt. They're all getting really great results. So the method combines the benefit of hot wire foam construction with the benefit of traditional rib wings. And it all starts with building a box like this that will serve as your hot wire core. The box is carefully built so that there's foam structure in crucial areas and there's panels spaced similarly to wing ribs. You build the box much deeper than you need so you can cut it in half and make two panels that are mirror images of each other. The box is held together with a very light layer of Gorilla Glue so the hot wire bow can pass smoothly through the joints. You can always go back and add more glue if necessary after your airfoil is cut. Um, similar to hot wire cutting, you're going to end up with a wing bed that works great when you go to sheet the wing. So when I've seen others do this, they've generally sheeted with foam and then added a layer of balsa if they thought it was necessary. I've decided to see if I can skip uh, a little bit of weight and I'm going to skip the uh, foam sheeting and go straight to laying down 1 16th inch balsa and then lay down fiberglass. Um, since the stabilizer on this B-17 is almost 58 inches in span. I'm building it in three parts, uh, a removable stabilizers and a center section, which I've already cut, that will be permanently installed in the fuselage. Um, since everything needs to be assembled at the field, I'm going to use a carbon fiber wing tube and a matching fiberglass sleeve, and this will, will bear all the flight loads that the elevator and uh, stabilizer should see. So since I've already cut the center section, let's start cutting some wing panels. I start the process by cutting the box in half, giving myself two cores to cut the panels from. Then the boxes are carefully marked with center lines to use as a reference when attaching the airfoil templates. It's important that these be accurate or you're going to end up with unwanted twist in your panel. I then use T-pins to secure the airfoil templates to the panel. Now when I cut these templates, I neglected to add a support or shelf on the center line, so you see that I'm temporarily hot gluing some scrap balsa to the core so I have somewhere to rest the wire before and after the cuts. As with any hot wire cutting, make sure you're working in an area with good ventilation. I should probably be wearing a respirator here, but uh, the garage door was open and I had a fan running. So with everything in place, I put weights on the box to ensure nothing shifts and I make the first cut. Then I flip the box over, adjust my scrap balsa supports, and make the second cut. When I'm happy with everything, I repeat the process to make the other wing section. So. Panels are done and they came out great. I did add a pair of these light carbon fiber stringers to each one of the panels just for a little bit of extra strength. Um, I think I would have been fine without them, but uh, it didn't hurt anything and it's not a lot of weight penalty. So now I'm ready to move on with the process. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the aft portion, the elevator portion of the panel, and I'm going to prepare the trailing edge here. So I'm going to add about three, probably three hard points for hinges and then line this trailing area with balsa. Once that's done, I'm going to put these back in the bed and line the lower surface with balsa. Um, I want to do the lower surface first because there's going to be a hatch in the lower surface so I can get access to my servos and my control linkages. And it'll be a lot easier to work on that hatch and all those mechanisms while the top surface of the wing isn't on yet. So let's get started with that. So what happened is I got on a bit of a roll. And while I was rolling, I neglected to shoot any video of the process. So let me go over what's been done to this point. First, I added three points, hard points in each panel just for the hinges. And then I went and lined the trailing surfaces with balsa. Once that was done, I put the panels in their beds and I lined the lower sheet, or lower surface with 1 16th inch balsa. Once that was done, I took my hot wire templates, used them as a guide, and I marked and cut holes for the wing tube to pass through as well as for the wiring to pass through. At the same time, I also installed these anti-rotation pins. The anti-rotation pin is installed in the panel and it has a mated plate in the center section. Now, these don't take any of the flight loads. They're just there to ensure that the stabilizers don't rotate around the wing tube. 
At the same time I was doing all of that, I also installed these small tabs to receive a 440 threaded rod, and those just hold the stabs in place. Once that was done, I cut these access hatches in the, in the sheeting, and I installed my uh, servo trays. I also installed some lightweight paper tubes just to make feeding the uh, cables a little bit easier. So that brings us to where the stabilizers sit today. I'm going to end this video here and then pick back up in the next video with finishing these out. There's still a lot of work left to do to get these things ready for fiberglass. We've got to do the top sheeting, got to do the wing tips, the leading edges, the gap seals, the linkages, and of course build out the elevators. So check that out next time. Thanks for watching.